Namaste to all your cosmic souls and welcome to your reading today. I was just walking by, strolling by to have a look at the mountains which you probably can't see because it's kind of covered by a layer of fog. Um, but I thought I'd use this opportunity to do a reading for you all <clears throat> to see the energies that are coming through and anything that you need to hear and know what messages are wanting to come through for you today. This will be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave out the rest. First, we have the wheel. So you are currently moving through the wheel. You may have reached somewhere halfway and you may have already started to feel the progress. You may have already started to feel that, okay, it's starting to move now. It's starting to progress now. All that stuck, stagnant energy is kind of washing away. And now I am progressing into becoming my best self. Whatever that means for you, whatever this is that you're working on, the progress is definitely there. <clears throat> and you're about halfway through this progress. So we have a lot of cards falling out. I feel like there are a few messages that are trying to come to you at this time. So let us see what... What? K. K. If the letter K resonates with you, um, it could be one particular person or a few of y'all who connect with this letter. If in any way it does, maybe this is a sign for you. With the age of inspiration reversed, don't stop now. Keep moving forward. Yes, there are fears. Yes, there are doubts. Yes, there is confusion. But where there is fear, there is change. The change brings in that fear within you, which is... Um, a self-protecting mechanism, right? You are protecting yourself and that is why the fear comes because you are in this space now. It's kind of comfortable here. You know what's going to happen if you stay here. But now if you change everything, what is going to happen? Even if you do know the possibilities, how do you actually know that this is what is going to happen? You don't. That's what brings in the fear. So why not step in and see what happens? This is not the time to give up. Rather, this is the time to push through. At least push through these fears. If not, push through with complete action. So that is a choice you have to make. You have to say, I accept my fears. I accept these challenges. And I am ready for anything that is trying to come at me right now. With the seven of materials, you have been planting seeds, dear one. You have been planting a lot of seeds. You have been planting one by one, step by step, moving through each and every spot, planting your seed. And those seeds have begun to grow. I did not see this. With the page of materials, do you see these roses, how much they've grown. So in the seven of materials, in the light seers deck, uh, sorry, this is not the light seers deck, this is the muse deck by the same artist uh, who is Chris Ann. Um, and here she has represented materials as in pentacles as roses, which I think is absolutely amazing. Right? Because the way it has been depicted is so different. And it gives you so much meaning within the whole card. Okay, now we're start going to start talking about the artwork of the card. Let me continue with the page of materials. Remember to water these 
seats. Sometimes you tend to forget. Sometimes you tend to remove um, those thoughts from your mind because you have other thoughts that are coming in, right? Remember to just go back and refresh your thoughts, refresh the information so that it's in your mind and then continue your path forward, planting your bigger seeds. Don't forget the smaller ones that you planted before because that is what helped you grow. In a sense, it is saying gratitude for everything that you have had until today and gratitude for what you are receiving right now. What else do we need to hear or know? Career? Okay. Eight of voices. Okay. There is a possibility of being blindsided that you don't know what's coming. Okay. And this is causing you to feel um, clustered in a world of clutter. Like I cannot see what's happening around me. I feel tied up to this world. I feel tied up to myself. And I'm not able to get out of myself to do what I want to do. Right? But the thing is, you are highly um, awakened right now and your intuition is extremely heightened. So if you are able to use that within this time, what you can do is your intuition will continuously send you messages that you are constantly receiving. Now with these messages that you are receiving, once you feel you are ready to let go of these blindfolds, you can step in with the action of what your intuition was saying when you were blindfolded. So right now, you are being prepared for what is to come. So use this time of stillness to just breathe and be. We have the seven of inspiration reversed. It's funny because this is the same uh, message we received earlier today um, except that it was asking you to push the barriers away here it is talking about fears that are coming in the way of you pushing your barriers away so if only you use that internal strength that you have inside you that you know you have inside you to push these walls away, to just clear it all out with breath and say, I deserve the best. I deserve what is to come. I deserve this. I am ready for this. Whatever that this is for you, say that you are ready. Because anything that is stopping you from moving forward is probably in your mind and it's not in physical reality. The obstacles created are most probably in your mind. There is a lot of light in the action that you are about to take. So if you allow that light to kind of just come out and say hello, you may prosper a lot from that. For the last two cards, we have the Priestess and the Knight of Voices. With the Knight of Voices, I see a white pegasus. It's like... We were talking about the wind sending you messages, right? So in a way, this white pegasus is bringing you messages from the universe, from the clouds here that you see behind me all over. 
So these clouds are bringing you messages from the universe, from the sun, from the moon, from the stars. It's asking you if you are okay. Are you okay? Are you feeling all right today? And even if you are not, I feel like saying Om Mani Padme Ham uh, because I do see the flag, the Tibetan flag that represents Om Mani Padme Ham. So maybe chanting Om Mani Padme Ham or listening to the music of that chant maybe can in some way guide you and help you just raise your vibrations, raise your energy levels and just raise the sun's rays is just directly falling on my face feels nice feels refreshing <laughs> even amidst all of these clouds there is a ray of light that is constantly guiding you right and with the priestess reversed you are magic you are magic so what are you waiting for you have everything right in front of you all you need to do is pick it up and use it so just try that for one day just pick it up and use it do you have too many things and you don't know what to pick up prioritize okay i'm going to pick this up for one week. Tomorrow, I'm going to decide what I pick next week. Or complete the week, go to the next week. I'm going to pick this up today. And I'm going to practice this for one week. Harness your skills week by week. Alternate them. If you are confused, remember to just focus on one thing at one time. Then move to the next. Because I know in this world of choices we have so many choices that it can come to confuse us but right now with the priestess and the bumblebee jasper i just noticed that we have the bumblebee jasper here so maybe that is also telling you a lot with respect to your solar plexus chakra which is at your navel center here eating food habits your gut health and how that is going to help you because your gut health is also related to your intuition like your good food is a healthy gut your gut your intuition comes from that space from that chakra so remember to keep your food healthy remember to keep your spine healthy so if your spine is healthy, your food habits are healthy, your chakras are aligned, you will begin to feel the energies of your surroundings. And if you need to change those surroundings, you absolutely will. Because it needs to match the energy inside you. So that was your reading for today. Your last message was, you are magic, you are power. Use your intuition and use your hands the energy in your hands let's just rub our hands for a bit feel the warmth slowly part it out come closer away and closer away and closer Imagine your palms filled with love and push it back into your heart space. You can do it for a little longer, but remember to complete by bringing the energy back to you rather than releasing out it out into the open. So thank you so much for listening to me. If you'd like... Uh, Personal reading, you can visit the link in the description box. And I will do a reading for you from the mountains for as long as I'm here. Um, 
Thank you so much if you watched this video today. Sending you so much love and so much light as always. Namaste.